welcome back to the channel you guys so i hope you like my halloween decor today we are going to go have some fun so just follow along with me and relax get you a cup of tea get into the spooky spirit of october and let's go It wouldn't be fall without some crafting. So I am painting this fall tic-tac-toe set with pumpkins and fall leaves that I got at the Dollar Tree. It's so fun crafting and just creating something. actually using acrylic paint and some glitter and this is the finished result now let's go to the pumpkin patch so many on my front porch. But we want to paint them. Okay. And we could do some of these for the tabletop. And do them black and white. Oh, look at this one. Look at this comes from right here. So the pumpkin patch had this area where you can take a photograph and so we decided we wanted to take some pictures or some video and it was just a beautiful fall afternoon and we found this cool pumpkin patch. We weren't even looking for it.
after all that, it was time to go shopping. So I went to the mall and I went to the store pink and I got me some lounge clothes and some walking clothes for the cooler weather. As you can see, I got this cute um, jogger uh, set that's green and then some gray joggers along with some other stuff I picked up at a different store. Um, so I was into painting and I wanted to look at some of these really cute illustrations for, you know, inspiration. So I got this little cute Peter Rabbit book and I just like to look at the little drawings and plus, um, you know, I can give it to one of my nephews later. Also, um, this Harry Potter watercolor magic book has all these really nice watercolor prompts and allows you to paint and I'll show you guys later on in the video um, how I did one so very nice and I will try to link this book below if I remember if not it is on Amazon so um, definitely if you like it it is available there and you can go get it okay so it also allows you to get the pre-mixed color palette so you know what colors to mix and create which is really nice you don't have to sit there and figure it out also got this really nice set of watercolors I believe there's 48 colors it comes with brushes water brushes um, palette and it has paper that goes with it as well and it also comes with a pencil so I think that was a really good deal it also has metallic paints in there um, I also got this pencil sharpener on Amazon it was really cute so I decided to get it it sharpens really good um, I also picked up this handheld sharpener to take with me if I should go somewhere and it holds all the shavings and things like that. I also picked up some Skecher shoes for walking. These are really nice. They're all vegan and they are so comfortable. I mainly got them to match this outfit, my lounge outfit, my walking outfit for <laughs> cooler weather. So that's kind of cute. I do like how they fit. So I'll let you watch how I paint. You might want to go and grab some pumpkin spice flavored snacks or a drink because painting is something that takes patience. And so I'm going to attempt to paint this Harry Potter cake that Hagrid made. Um, I'm going to pre-mix all the colors that are shown and attempt to go ahead and do this for you guys so let me know what you think it's not as hard as it looks and it's fun and it also is very relaxing So what was your favorite Harry Potter moment and what would you paint from the movie? Comment below and let me know.
The lettering was a little tricky. I think I had a little bit too much water on my brush, but I tried and it came out pretty decent. So FYI, if you do try this, make sure you blot your brush just a little bit if you're doing watercolor. Um, yeah, I think it turned out okay. Y'all let me know what you think. I will also have this paint set as well as the book linked in the description and in the comments as well below if you are interested in doing some of these types of watercolor um, pictures if you like Harry Potter I'm sure they have some other selections as well but um, this one was so cute I could not pass it by and I also used a black pen to kind of outline to make it more detailed. So um, I'll try to have a link for those as well below. So let me know how you think this turned out. Did I do a good job? And does this inspire you to be more artistic and maybe cultivate more of your hobbies and skill sets that maybe have been lying dormant for a while? I think autumn is the perfect time to start getting back into our hobbies and creative ways since a lot of the activities are now going to be more indoors. It is the perfect time to break out your paints, pencils, and paper. <laughs> this is how it turned out. Hope you like it. Now I'm actually starting on a whole nother project. I'm going to be attempting to draw this really beautiful vintage perfume bottle i actually keep my face setting spray in this but now it's a still life for me to paint did you know that during the victorian era and the edwardian era and probably a little bit before that women who had talents hobbies and things like that were most likely wed if their needlepoint was nice if their musical talents were nice if they played a musical instrument if they were able to knit or sew very well they were prime picks as wives isn't that hilarious and i think we've come full circle to be able to actually paint and enjoy our talents and skills and hobbies for ourselves and for just pure enjoyment and not having to feel like you have to find a hobby or skill to be marriage material but it is very nice to have something just for yourself that's special and allows you to express yourself in a creative way um, when you have some free time or just some time to relax also, you know, a lot of times your skills and hobbies can also become your business or just something nice to create and make for someone else.
I hope you like how this turned out. I really like it. Now it's time for some comedy. So I was at the grocery store and I saw these apples and it says pick me on it. So I didn't pick them, of course. I went and got the other brand that did not say pick me on them because I'm not even going to eat pick me apples. That's hilarious. But I got these instead. They didn't say anything on them. So <laughs> I think it's funny, though. So after the little grocery shopping, I got a few items for making a more cozy ambiance in the house. I got this leather scented candle that smells so good. And I also got um, some cute sugar and cream witchy looking um, dishes that I got um, on sale. So we're in the Halloween section, as you can see, and we're just kidding around and playing. Um, they have some really nice decor. I believe this was Walmart. And this witch was like, oh my gosh. She was just talking the whole time. I think she's most motion detecting. But look at Scooby. Scooby-Doo was one of my favorite cartoons growing up. So cute. I want to know is when did Freddy Krueger get so cute? Yep, I had to pick up that Silk Sonic. Oh, look at these cakes. Mmm, too bad we didn't get any. Um, they looked a little bit too sugary with all that icing on them, but they were cute, right? So now I am going to be making some dipped candles and I got this idea from another YouTuber and you may know her as The Writing Witch on YouTube. So um, I saw her video on candle magic and um, decided to make the candles that she was making in her video. So I saw this technique and decided that I wanted to try them. Um, instead of making them from scratch, I just bought some hurricane candles and just melted some wax from wax melts and other candles. And I also had some candle wax um, cubes and I just dipped the hurricane candle in the wax over um, a pot with boiling water and I have just a mason jar there and then the water next to it in another jar to cool the wax so dip in the wax then dip in the water to cool it then dip in the wax again and dip in the water and I also put some herbs and some um, petals and different oils into the candle and I made some spell candles if you ordered one of my coven mystery boxes you may have received one of these candles some are still available if you check you may be able to get one I'm not sure if they're sold out yet but I also did some pour candles and this is how they turned out Thank you for spending some time with me and watching me create and just spend a lovely autumn afternoon with my family. 
sprinkle sprinkle and i will see you guys on the next video until then sprinkle sprinkle bye